Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help determine if PF3 is a polar or non-polar molecule. It's a chemical formula for phosphorus trifluoride and to understand its polarity we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure of PF3 in which phosphorus atom is in the center and fluorine atoms are forming a single bond with this central atom. Besides that, phosphorus atom also has a lone pair of electrons which does not participate in any bond formation. Now because of this lone pair, this molecule is no longer symmetrical and there are chances that this molecule is the polar molecule. But let's confirm it by looking at the electronegativity values of phosphorus and fluorine and find out if there is a net dipole moment in this molecule. So phosphorus has an ne uh, electronegativity value of 2.19 and for fluorine it is 3.98. So the difference is uh, definitely higher than 0.4 which makes these bonds polar bonds. Now, because of this lone pair which is present on the phosphorus atom, it pushes these uh, atoms down which distorts its shape and distorts its symmetry. So, instead of cancelling the dipole moments out, these dipole moments are summed up. So, if it was a symmetrical molecule, these dipole moments might have cancelled each other out. But because there is a little bend in the shape of this molecule due to this lone pair which is present on the central atom, these dipole moments are not cancelled out and the direction will be towards a fluorine atom and as a result, there is a non-zero net dipole moment in this molecule which makes PF3 a polar molecule. I hope this video helps you to understand the polarity of PF3. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.